What is up everybody? Product Probes Christian back at you and we got a cool little show knife here today and one thing I want to just do not try this at home everybody. We got a, this thing's probably the sharpest knife we've ever done on a Product Probes. Oh no, like said, oh no, don't interact with it. Wow, that thing is super sharp. Let me show you what that did to my Oh. Right there. Absolutely nothing. This thing is the dullest knife I have ever seen in my entire life. It's definitely a show knife, guys. Just a kind of little fun, little quick review we're gonna do on it real quick. Let's go ahead and dive on in. All right, guys, right off the bat, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a close up on this knife. It's actually a rather neat looking knife. Start up here, got your 440C stainless steel blade right there. Coming on down, you've got a, uh, looks like an aluminum or stainless steel bolster right here. And down here, you got a plastic piece right here. It's got a real nice wolf design in there. I don't know if you guys can see that right there in the close ups, but it actually is pretty neat. It's the same thing on both sides. And on the very tip right here, it looks like you got a plastic, I think that's, yeah, plastic piece right here. It's a wolf kind of emblem seal right there. Pretty neat actually. And like I was saying, this thing is not a very sharp knife, but it is a really cool looking knife. Nice knife just to hang up if you want to. Some people, if you like wolves, this is the knife for you. One thing I forgot to mention also, up here on the blade, let that focus on in. It's got a real nice pattern up here on the actual blade itself. Real nice work done in there. And I don't know if you can see, right down here, I, you can see kind of the arch that comes up right here. It kind of comes down right there. This is the actual blade of the knife. I'm sure if you really wanted to, you can get a grinder or a file and file down this blade to actually make it sharp if you actually wanted to use it for everyday carry. But one thing is, it's gonna be hard to carry around just because there's no pocket clip or any uh, type of mechanism to where you can put it on your belt, in your pocket. I guess you could stick that in your pocket if you wanted to. Got a uh, Speaking of that, got a real cool little sheath right here. Pretty cheap, made out of plastic, but not a big deal. Give you guys a close up on that. Almost like the knife itself, it's got your wolves right up here, kind of a blue kind of lines right in there. Really nice effect to it. Show you guys the other side, it's the exact same thing. And on the very tip, you've got two little blue gems on each side. Just nice little visual effects, not too bad. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention was, it's pretty cheap, you can tell, because it's got that styrofoam in there. So I'm not sure how it's gonna hold up over time, sliding it in and out. But if you're just gonna hang it up on the wall, kind of just like this, or maybe just off to the side like that, you know what, it's not gonna be a big deal because you're not gonna use this for every day. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to put it in backwards. But you know, let's, you know, let's go ahead and see what this thing actually can even cut through paper. I'm not really optimistic that it will be able to, but let's go give it a shot. All right, guys, for the moment you've all been waiting for, let's go ahead and test out the sharpness. All right, we're gonna give it a quick little, oh my goodness, y'all. Yeah, guys, nothing but rips. Try that one more time. This thing is insane. All right, real quick, I wanna show you guys how it just slides in. Slides in and out really well, actually. Not much catch. Pretty simple, fits in right up here and nice and snug on the, uh, it's made to fit in real nice and perfect. Let's do that one more time. So, no big problem there. The knife itself, it's not super heavy. You would think with a bigger knife like this, it'd be, you know, really heavy. You know, some of the fixed blades that we've done before. Actually, this thing is not a full blade or a fixed blade or a full tang. And what I mean by that is, the knife is gonna stop about right here and be connected to the, uh, the actual handle. It's not gonna go all the way back into the back of the knife right here. And I can really feel the kind of uh, the, weight the weight distribution. You know, it's pretty lightweight back here. And then you got more of the weight up here towards the front, which is really prominent. You can, I mean, obviously, but you can feel once you get to hold the knife, decent grip on there, but you can feel it's super lightweight. It's not gonna balance out on a finger like that or anything. With some of the other knives, the weight is really nice, evenly distributed throughout the whole entire knife. So one thing I wanna go check out is how much this thing really weighs and see what the measurements are looking like. All right, kinda of just curious to see how it's gonna weigh up on the scale. So let's go ahead and place it on there. With the sheath, you're looking at around 8.4 ounces. So let's see how much it weighs without the sheath. For the size of the knife, not super surprised. And with no sheath, 6.9 ounces. So you know what, for the size of the knife, it's actually not super heavy, but it's because you got your plastic up here and all the weight's gonna be in your hand or in your blade right here. I wanna see how much this sheet's gonna weigh. 1.4 ounces. So, you know what? Not super surprised overall on the weight. Let's go ahead and check out the measurements. All right, with the sheet, we're gonna, oh, is this gonna be bigger than the actual thing? Yeah, so you're looking at about an inch over 12, so around 13 inches with the, with the sheath opened up. 
Gotta look around. I think Ben's gonna go grab the yardstick real quick to get some exact measurements. But yeah, the sheath doesn't add that much, uh, that much uh, measurement to it, I guess you could say. No. Okay, Ben, thank you very much. We've got the yardstick right here. Let's go ahead and see what we're looking at. Flip it this way. There we go. So let's restart that. With the sheath, we are looking at about 14 inches on the dot. I want to see how much of the sh how much uh, that sheath adds to it. Actually, I'm kind of curious. Let's get this in just a hair, and it's a tad under 14, about 13 and a half. So it adds about a good half inch, a little under half an inch, length of the blade starting from right here where the blade actually starts because it's not sharper here. Well, I guess it's not sharper anywhere, but starting from where the blade would actually be, it is seven and a half inches. And if you want to go ahead and add that little bit right there, you're looking around eight and a half. And let's see, length of the handle from right here, it's a tad over six inches. So I don't know if you guys can see this right here in this camera, but you can actually see the grooves right here from where the knife actually starts. There's some little lines right here where you can actually see where they went ahead and sharpen the knife. Not sure if you guys can see that in the close-ups, but I just wanted to go ahead and point it out. The actual blade starts right there on the knife. All right, so that's it for the measurements, guys. Let's go ahead and finish out the review. All right, to be an only 14-inch knife and to only be 8.4 ounces is actually really, really good. But it's understandable because it's more of a show knife. It's not made to be extra sturdy or anything to use for everyday use you know you got the plastic sheath right here you got the plastic handle up here and the plastic emblem on or not emblem i'm not sure what you really would call that uh just the wolf head right there but you really only the only metal you got on the knife is the blade and then this bolster right up here on the top of the blade so that's what's going to be used for it's just kind of a show knife going to hang it up on the wall you know just for everyday not for everyday use why am i saying that just going to be to put it right up on the wall super nice looking knife guys that's about it I'll go ahead and leave the link down in the description if you want to get one of these knives. For all you wool fans out there, for anyone who just wants to get a cool show knife, this is the way to go. You know what? Not a lot of super impressive knife, impressive not impressive knife, but it is a really cool looking knife. Really glad we got this knife. You know, I think this was just a weird find. I think it was under one of the top sellers on there on Amazon. So we just went ahead and bought it just because it's just something different. We don't usually do stuff like this on product probes. But I hope you enjoyed the review, guys. What? We'll probably give away this thing on the Friday Night Knife giveaway, too, just, just because something special, something a little, you know, something different. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Go ahead and check out our Friday Night Knife giveaways, like I was saying. If you don't know what those are, every single Friday night we are giving a knife away, just like this. Super simple to get it to, so go ahead and tune in, 5, 6 o'clock Central Time. You know, right around there, we're doing these live streams. It's a lot of fun, so go ahead and check that out. And go ahead and check out our social media. We're actually just got that started back up. We've got an Instagram, a Twitter, a Facebook page. Been working super hard on that for the past week. Kind of got everything set up good. So go ahead and check us out there at Product Probes. But that's it for this one, guys. If you guys enjoyed the review, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.